Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian here, Brian's All Maintenance. Hope you guys are doing well. Hey, we're gonna be doing a what's new GIE 2019 video here. As you guys can see, we're already doing all the edits here, but before I jumped into it and I hit publish on the video, I just wanted to share a quick clip with you guys and just give you some context to what's going on here because this video is gonna come at you quick. I got about eight or nine different guys in here uh, giving their speech and their pitch about their product and what's new, which is super exciting, but after the third or fourth time, it might get a little redundant because let's be honest with you, these guys are all doing their elevator speech, trying to communicate in a really narrow window about their new product or service. So give these guys a little bit of slack while you're watching the video. If it seems a little salesy, yeah, it's designed to be salesy for these guys because we're at a conference, we're at a convention where they're trying to sell and communicate their new product. Now, we got some new stuff here from Equipment Defender, Isotunes, Cujo, Mulchmate, uh, Multi One, uh, Echo, so many cool brands that I wanted to capture some video. And basically, here's the deal. Friday at about 11 a.m., we got out of the YouTube live panel, which is crazy, and I had about Zero content, okay? I had no video from the whole freaking day, so I'm walking around shooting video with the camera. Hey, you got your two minute speech. Hey, you got your two minute speech, because I wanted to bring stuff back to you guys. So if you want to do me a tremendous favor, shoot the video a big thumbs up. It really means a lot, because literally I had a pool of sweat going down my back as I was running marathon laps all over the place at the GIE trying to capture this video from you guys. So that being said, a lot of these guys are gonna give their pitch. A lot of these guys are gonna show you what's new from GIE, uh, GIE 2019, which is super exciting. So if you guys enjoy the video, shoot a big thumbs up, sit back, relax, pop some popcorn. We're here for about 20 minutes. Let's get into it and let's have some fun. All right, thanks for watching. All right, guys, so the next booth we're at, we're at Bad Boy, which is super exciting. I'm hanging out with a product manager. This is Jonathan. What's going on, brother? Oh, just having a great show. Looking forward to seeing everybody. This is awesome. A lot of you guys want to see more Bad Boy content. I'm working on it, but one more that we wanted to highlight here for uh, just a couple quick seconds. What do we got going on with this guy? Uh, we want to show everybody our R Series, our uh, Bad Boy Rogue. Uh, it's pretty unique to us. It's packed full of features that a lot of our uh, competition doesn't have, and, and just want to take a minute to highlight that. We want to start with, uh, this unit's got a 26 inch rear tire and it's going to have 15 inch front tires. It's going to have ductile iron, three quarter inch caster force, which is the heaviest in the engine. Now, couple that with our three gauge deck, which is a quarter of an inch, through and through, three eighths on the side and a half inch in the front. We feel like that makes it the heaviest deck in the industry as well. But there's something else that's pretty unique about this mower. It's got a three link suspension system. So what that gives us is about six inches of travel in the rear. And then we've also got isolators in the front that gives us about three and a half to four inches of, of, of travel in the front. Okay. This is going to absorb our impact and the rear is going to really take that jolt and make that ride better for everybody. A few of the uh, components on this, uh, this unit come, is available with several engine options, a 27 uh, horsepower Kawasaki, a 35. We've got uh, 33 Kohler fuel injected. We've got 33 Yamaha fuel injected. And we've uh, also got a 37 Vanguard fuel injected. 16cc Hydra gear pumps. Wow, um, that's awesome. 18 cubic inch wheel motors, yeah. And um, this thing looks like a tank, brother. It, it is, it is. We, we pride ourselves on having a heavy fuel unit. Uh, 12 gallon fuel capacity, simultaneous feed, several seat options. Uh, this is our standard seat, which everybody loves because it's, it's cooler on the operator. It allows airflow to come in from the back. But we can also put uh, isolation systems on there. We can put suspension seats on there. Um, something pretty unique to all of our R Series mowers. Um, we can actually set this up uh, to drive how you want to. So if you like a stiffer steering, a softer steering, we can actually adjust that underneath and just underneath in just a matter of minutes. Uh, and then we have on the fly tracking right here. So if you got a little bit of drift uh, that you need to get out uh, over a long stretch for striping or whatever, we can adjust it right there on the fly. Makes it a lot easier for the operator. Cool. All right, where can we get some more info if they want to check out more about uh, Bad Boy? www.badboymowers.com or obviously come by and see us here at the GIE. We'd love to see you. All right. Thanks, brother. Appreciate the time. Uh-huh. Thank you. All right, guys. So you're familiar with this booth. We're at the Equipment Defender booth here at GIE, and we're talking with my man Dave. What's up, brother? Hey, how are you, Brian? It's been a minute, but you guys know Dave and Matt with Equipment Defender, and we got some new releases here that are coming spring 2020. That's when we expect them. Which is going to be awesome. So let's show you guys the new racks from Equipment Defender. Go ahead, you can take uh, it away. All right, this one here, move that sign out of the way, is for chainsaws. 
We try to do everything so there's no excessive movement. You notice that's really clamping on the bar. You cannot extract it out of there no matter what. Yep. So the way that we achieve that is we're using the same lock system as the blower racks and it releases right here. This is cam action. When you put it back in there, it cam actions closed and it really secures it. So, so very fast, very easy, but it completely eliminates any excessive movement. And obviously the key lock system is right here. You can do the combination as well as the key. The same rack is used over here for the hedge trimmer. However, we had to take off this guard to do it. So if you're using a trimmer, a double-sided hedge trimmer that does not have this guard on it, it will work. If you have this guard on it, it will not work. And you guys are coming up with other d ideas potentially. Potentially, but right now that that really was that rack lends itself towards this. Yep. If it doesn't have that guard on it. Awesome. Uh, blower rack. People have been asking for one, so we did a pretty simple design here. Uh, we put some polyurethane keepers on it. We don't want any excessive movement again. You notice there's no movement whatsoever. It's simple adjustments. It clamp it in real tight, and it releases very easily. Drop it back in. That's awesome. It's the same, same basic lock system as the other um, backpack blower rack. All right. And come on over here for the pole saw rack. There's the pole saw rack. Secured in place. It's absolutely no movement whatsoever. You cannot budge that. There's no movement whatsoever. Yep. We don't want any loose pins or parts that dangle that are going to fall off and get lost. So we have the same pull, uh, pull system here. Spring loaded pull, pull pin. Over here, it's the same mechanism as the chainsaw rack. Oh, okay. So it is a cam action. When you close it, it just squeezes down on the shaft to eliminate the movement. And That's there is an engine support. Oh, wow. Here I didn't even see that earlier. To support the engine so that you don't have any any uh, damage to the, to the shaft. Yeah. Awesome. And then, of course, you got the blower racks. Same blower racks as last year. This has been a really great success. We're selling the heck out of them. People have really responded to it. They love the super low profile, uh, the simple latch mechanism. They love that. So that has been just a great product. Awesome. Um, other than that, it's really all the rest of the same racks that have been on the market since uh, since we started doing it. This is awesome. All right, well, you guys know Brian's 10. I super appreciate you guys using the promo code. It saves you guys 10% on all the different equipment here. And you know what? It's gonna be an awesome 2020 for all of us. So if you guys are in the market for new racks for your trailer, uh, and all this stuff works on enclosed and utility. Open and enclosed. Open and enclosed, which is awesome. So, all right, brother, well, we'll catch up with you. Sounds good. Enjoy the show. Hey, one other thing here I want to show you guys uh, what's new from the GIE show with all the different lawnmowers here is Coyote, Coyote, something like that. Uh, orange lawnmowers, looking pretty sharp, decent sized booth, and that tells me that they're trying to be a player, which is awesome. Uh, you can always tell the companies that are trying to expand and grow because they got big booths and they're putting a lot of money behind it, which is really fun. But let me show you guys some of their zero turns, tractors. I haven't heard of the brand, but I don't get out much, right? So you guys tell me if you've heard of these guys. There you go. Ready? Awesome stuff. Looks like we got Kohler options, Vanguard options, Briggs and Stratton, which is really cool. I really like their logo. It looks like Teddy. Oh, you like their logo because it what? It looks like Teddy. It looks like Teddy? Can you see the little dog? Oh. Coyote, right? Oh, Coyote. Okay. Coyote, Coyote. Yeah, oh. yeah, I thought it was Coyote, but that makes it, sense. It might be. It might be Coyote. <laughs> awesome stuff, guys. Look, look at those tractors. There you go. That is a sharp looking tractor. Awesome. Looks like uh, go for tit for tat with like some of the Kubotas or the John Deere's, which is really cool. All right, guys, so what's up? We're at the next booth, all the new stuff from GIE 2019. And you guys know this familiar face. I got my boy Aaron. What's up, guys? How we doing, good brother? Good to see you, Brian. Good this, to see you in good old Kentucky. This is uh, such a fun show that we got going on. Uh, one thing that I wanted to talk about was the new stand on from Cub. A lot of you guys have been seeing the mowing vlogs. Really love digesting, seeing all the uh, stripe footage and all that stuff. But you know what? This uh, model that we have here on the floor has some extra accessories. Yes. Um, on the stander. So let's show this off one more time because honestly, like I said, Cub Cadet came out swinging and this is a really sweet stand on mower. So I want you guys to see more of it. Yeah. So once again, kind of to follow up on a video a little bit. This unit's been in the making for a couple of years now. We showed it at GIE last year as a prototype. It got feedback from you guys. Um, and now we're ready to go to full production with that unit. Once again, we have a, a full adjustable suspension from the operator platform, easy to adjust. 
to give you a nice smooth bounce uh, for different size operators. Nice big uh, contoured pad we mentioned on a video that is adjustable up to two inches. Really easy deck lift to raise the deck up and down. You got a 48, a 54, and a 60 inch deck, all with FX series engines. Uh, the 54 and 60 does have FX 801. And then a couple things you guys mentioned on the video was some accessories. Headlights, when's somebody gonna have a headlight on a, on a stand on? Here you go, this is an accessory you can add on to the unit. We mentioned having the nice phone holder in a pad uh, for your cell phone. This is where your 12 volt outlet would go if you needed to have it. That way you can charge your phone on the go. That's awesome. I have the basket for you guys in the, in the northern grasses that are going to be bagging sometimes easily to pop on and off. Uh, it's a universal bracket that goes on a machine right here. Uh, but other than that, great stuff. Looking forward to the show the rest of the days here. And uh, these units are going to show up at dealers in November. So as you're getting your equipment service, you're at your open houses uh, with your dealers next year. Check this thing out. Can't wait to hear some feedback. Awesome. Have a great day, guys. All right, guys. That's it from the Cup Cadet booth. We'll see you guys at the next booth. All right, guys. So at the next booth here, you guys know Isotunes. We're hanging out with Emily. And a lot of you guys want to see more information on this. And this is the Isotunes Free. So Emily's going to talk about it for a couple quick seconds here. Take it away, girl. Okay, hey, guys. So this is our long-awaited true wireless earbuds. Um, Bluetooth hearing protection, no wires, um, get seven plus hour battery life on one charge. Then the charging case itself will get two to three full charges before it needs charging. And we've upgraded to the USB-C type charging. Gotcha. Um, they got 22 NRR, so block out 22 decibels of sound. Um, still got that noise canceling microphone, um, IP45 rating, and you know they got the APTX uh, codex technology in it, so really great sound quality. Awesome, and of course we got the iTunes Pro. The, the regular orange wired headphones. Mm -hmm. uh, and if they want more information, where do they go? Isotunes.com. Isotunes.com. So a lot of you guys have been using the Brian's Tanco, which we super appreciate. So save you 10 bucks on the Isotunes website. All right, guys, we'll catch up with you at the next booth. All right, guys, so we're at the Cujo booth. And of course, what's new 2019? These guys never disappoint. What's up, Sean? What's going on, Brian? Good I'm doing good, you. brother. Yeah, so great. we got the brand new booth that has been much anticipated, much awaited. And I wanted to share it to you guys really quick. And yes, Brian's 10 does work on the booth, which is super cool. And thank you guys seriously so much for the support but Sean you got to take it away yeah. this is gonna be awesome no problem so we're super hyped so we've had tons of people asking for a taller boot a safety toe so here it is we've been working hard on it we unveiled it at this show and it turned out fantastic so you know we wanted to keep a lot of the things people love about the current Cujo shoes into this boot so it's still really light for a safety toe boot it still has breathability here we got breathable vents breathable vents a lot of waterproofing all throughout this area this material is waterproofing um, and up here we have a composite safety toe. We went composite, it's not gonna get cold like a steel. It's a lighter material, because light comfort is big for us. Awesome. But what's really cool about this is, you know, it's still flexible. I mean, you look at a safety toe boot, a lot of them get kind of stiff and it hurts your feet at the end of the day. Sure. We want this to move with your foot when you're working and bending all day, wow. but still have the protection. So, that's awesome. I, I mean, the guys are pumped about this. Uh, same tread pattern underneath, a little bit more aggressive, or what do we look yeah, like? Yeah, so we're doing the same tread pattern. You know, it's it's been working fantastic, so we're not messing with it. The yeah. only thing we did is we made the rubber a little bit thicker, okay. so that it's gonna be a bit more durable, but the tread pattern's the same besides a little more durability. Looking sharp. What's the inside look like? Do we have some good uh, insulation, or how are we looking? Yeah, so we have a good lining here. So we have a water resistant lining up here. I don't know if you can see this, yep. but the lining over here has small perforated holes and that's for ventilation. Again, we have waterproofing on the outside, but during these vents, we got ventilation on the inside too. We don't want sweaty feet getting trapped in there. Sure, dude, that's awesome, man. Yeah. Well, a lot of you guys have supported the channel with the Cujo, uh, with the Brian's 10, super appreciate it. Of course, we got the regular Cujos, right? So if you're into the shoes and you don't want the boot or you're not, you know, using them in the fall or spring like that or when it's really cold outside, yeah. that's totally cool too. So. All right, guys. Well, hey, great job on the booth. Yeah, great job on the it. shoe. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're hanging at the Mulch Mate booth, having fun, as you guys can tell. And uh, <laughs> one other thing that we got going on here is the new cart mate. Cart mate. All right, quick little walk around, man. This uh, thing is slick. Okay, real quick. It's just a, a cart that gets bolted right to the front end mower you already own. It can hold up to 600 pounds, which is basically a yard of mulch or whatever else you want to put into it. The cart's awesome because, yes, this looks like a long unit, but when you want to travel and you don't want to take up extra space on your trailer, what? Unit pops up just like so, pin it into place, and now you're good to go. Hold itself into place. You need wow. to get through a thin gate. The unit shrinks down to 32 inches wide, and everything else just depends on how wide your mower is. What? Yep. So it's that easy. Oh my god. And it attaches onto the front of the mower with a two inch receiver? Yep, two inch receiver. It's uh, the detached system. Gotcha. They, make a, they make a great product, and I don't need to reinvent something they've already done a great job with. 
Wow. Also, this is articulating, so it'll handle any terrain. Get out of here, dude. What? Any, any terrain. No wow. maintenance, zero. Dude, I love it, man. What's uh, what's the price point? Uh, this is 1800 bucks. 1800 but you know what? This will save a couple guys. You tons and tons, tons of time. Of labor. And the thing is, you're, you're using the mower you already own, yep. and you're not pushing it, you're not wheelbarrowing, you're not walking. Twice the amount of material, three times the speed. Dude, that's what's up, man. All right, guys, you know Nick Carlson, MulchMate. MulchMate.com? Yep, MulchMateUSA.com. MulchMateUSA.com. All right, guys, we'll see you at the next booth. All right, guys, you guys know Wyatt over here with the ramp rack, so we're hanging out outside, and another thing that's brand new and exciting to the GIE, well, brand new last year, yeah. but you've yep. been making a splash, but you also have the 2.0 version of this. Yeah. Now, it's not officially called that, but any which way, you guys have loved the ramp rack, but take it away, brother. Yeah, so basically last year we drove one of our work trucks down here with a solid version, and we were just trying to get some interest in it. We did get a lot of interest, obviously. We've sold quite a few, yep. but we've made a lot of improvements too. So um, this is the newest version. I'll just run through it from the, from the back to the front. First thing on the back is these latches. So they're spring-loaded. So the, the way to open the gate is you stand behind it, you, you pull both these at the same time, and then you let the ramp down. It's a spring assist gate, so it's not very heavy. It only takes about five pounds of force. Yep. And when you close it, it just latches right like that. You have a padlock, and you throw that on when you're in transport, or to keep people from stealing the equipment at night. Yep. So when you pull this down, when it comes down, it's, like I said, it's, it's really light. It only takes about five pounds of force. So um, the other thing that we've done is we've tried to keep it as simple as we can. So we use an industrial grade garage door spring. Okay. Easy to replace. If it ever breaks, you can get it at Lowe's for 20 bucks. Um, and it's easy for people to install too. So when we're talking about the ramp, uh, the biggest thing here is uh, these supports are 34 inches on center. So from what we found, a lot of different mowers and everything like that, that's where we want to be so the tires are directly over top of the supports. Gotcha. A lot of open trailers, if you have your tires over here, you have your tires over here. It works those welds and it, it makes them fail prematurely. Yep. The other thing we're, we've started to do is uh, on the dovetail here, we've started to weld every single spot. Gotcha. So that way it's a lot stronger and it extends the life so you don't have to get this expanded metal welded back down. So on our old version, it was basically two flat angles like this. Yep. And it was a lot of wasted space. So we never had any issues with our, um, our rights catching or anything like that. But we sold some and people had issues with uh, the V rides catching. Okay. So that's why we wanted to make this a more gradual um, ascent into the truck bed. And with this curve design, um, it's allowed us to save a lot of space and save a lot of weight too. Nice. So it's a lot more compact. The other one was four foot. This one's only three foot. Gotcha. So it's, it's a lot lighter, stronger, and more compact. I was gonna say slimmed it down, made it stronger, yeah. even better. Now, um, some people have had concerns about this gap. We haven't had any issues with our trucks, but uh, we do have a rubber off, uh, a piece of rubber that'll go over here to protect that gap if people have a concern about it. Gotcha. Um, the other thing with this new version is it's bolted to the dovetail here. The support used to just rest underneath. Okay. So it, would, it would rest on the hitch. But now it's bolted, um, so it's a lot stronger. So um, install time is an hour with two to three people for somebody that's never done it before. We do it in dealers, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Sure. You can just take the dovetail off if you want and then leave your handheld equipment and uh, front rack and everything on there. So we've got three different options as far as pricing goes. The base model, which doesn't include this push mower rack, it still includes this piece, it includes this piece, just doesn't include from here up. It's $27.95. Anybody that was here at the GIE that got a 10% discount code, that's good through the end of the year. Um, and then if you want the front rack with the, for the push mower and everything, that's 200 bucks more. Okay. So $29.95 for that. We also offer a headache rack option. Gotcha. Which basically just sure. protects the back glass. Yep. yep. It goes up at a taper and has the same design and logo as the dovetail sides, and that's $125. Gotcha. Where well, they so. can get uh, more information? So therampack.com or just follow us on Instagram at the ramp rack. Awesome, man. Appreciate it. All right, brother. We'll catch up with you soon. Definitely. Sounds good. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, brother. Yep. All right, guys, what's up? Quick little transition here. We're outside right now, and I'm actually hanging out with my boy Kyle from Multi One. How we doing, brother? Doing good, how about you? Doing good, how's the show so far? Doing pretty good, been Dude. pretty busy. I love it, it is so busy here, it's not even funny. But you know what, um, we're doing a What's New GIE 2019, and we're hanging out here with Multi One, and they have 
just something I've personally not really seen too much in the industry before. Um, they've got these awesome, just, what do you even call these things? It's an articulated loader. Articulating loader, and uh, the blue caught my eye, so Kyle's gonna explain a little bit about what we got going on, some of the benefits of this thing, and you know what, a lot of you guys do work that I don't do, which is more maintenance, but if you're into construction and hardscaping and all this other stuff, uh, Kyle's your guy and Multi One's your people, so take it away, brother. So right here, these are actually called Multi One, is the company that these are made by, and uh, they were brought to the United States about five years ago, but they've been made for probably about 25 to 30 years. They're actually made in Italy. Okay. So this one right here is a 7.2. It's actually the new engine, 25 horsepower. These are made for all seasons, these models right here. Um, you can also have over, we have over 170 different attachments, which is gonna cover basically all the seasons. You got from lawn care to tree work, and then you also have snow removal. Um, this right here is a log grapple that we got on the front. This right here is going to make you be able to pick up big logs in people's yards, not tear the ground up. We have uh, turf tires, and these actually have independent wheel motors on them, which allows the oil flow to be a little bit different, which it makes give you better traction. And uh, when you turn the machine, you're actually going to have tires are going to move with the machine, so you're not tearing up the ground, ruining people's yards, and uh, then you spend more time fixing what you tore up. This machine will allow you not to do that. If you're into basically like yard work and tree work and you're in a tight places trying to get that telescopic boom out there, it's really gonna allow you to be able to pick up more. And this is gonna be able to help you out in the smaller and tighter spots. Well, I'm Kyle Turner with Multi One. You can visit our website at multi1.com if you have any questions. All right guys, appreciate the time, Kyle. We'll catch up with you guys at the next booth. All right guys, we're at the next booth and again, we're showing you all the What's New GIE 2019. I'm hanging out with my boy, Nick Carlson. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? How are we doing? Doing great, man. How are you? I'm, doing, I'm busy. It's crazy. <laughs> the show is pandemonium. It is. You having a good time? Oh, it's, it's great. And I'm just glad to be here. Dude, I love it. Well, one of the reasons he's super excited, and I know you guys love seeing the What's New stuff, and we're gonna talk about Truckmate. Truckmate. Dude, take it away. All right, so here's the deal with Truckmate. Mulchmate's a great product, but it goes on these huge trucks. There's this huge gap we needed to fill. Truckmate mounts on the back of the truck you already own, like an F-150, F-250, F-350. Zero modifications to the vehicle. It runs a hitch mount system on the bottom. You can still tow with this unit. It sits on the bumper, keeps it balanced, and then these simple latches go over just like your, your uh, tailgate would latch on the back of your truck. Gotcha. You have this tarp tube here. This is what the tarp gets connected to, and then you pull the tarp into the bed of the truck. Oh. That's what you put your material on. Okay. It then pulls the material in, drops it on this cross conveyor, just like so. God. Get okay. out of so here. So you saw the conveyor coming towards me, right? Yep. So check this out. You got to reverse? It just get whatever side you're standing on, whatever button you're pressing, yeah. that's the direction it's going to go. Get out. Okay, so now this is the final mind-blowing thing that I love personally. This unit folds up and then you can stow it away like a tailgate, right? But here's the deal, when you put it up, you pull these gold pins out back here and you can take this unit clean off, leaving your tarping system. You can then pull the tarp out into your truck and you just turn your pickup truck into a dump body without it, without adding a huge 900 pound dump body. Get out of here, man. Yep. That is awesome. Uh, price point and info? Uh, 11,900 bucks. Go to mulchmateusa.com or get ready to put it up on the website in the next couple weeks. Get out of here. And I gotta throw a plug in there. And I don't know if you can confirm this or not, but I think you said you sold out of them. Every, yeah, we sold out of every single thing we have here. That's insane. So if you guys are doing, tell me your quick story, 20 seconds, You've done a lot of mulch. This is where yep. your baby, this is why you are doing all this. Yeah, we owned landscape company for 16 years and we had a ton, a ton, a ton of mulch and we had to find a way to, to survive, have the guys get it down faster, quicker uh, with zero emissions and help their backs. So Dude. it's that simple. Dude, this is awesome. I always love seeing when guys like you, very smart, very intelligent folks, guys in the industry, yep. make a product uh, invention that makes all of our life easier. And a lot of you guys have got a lot of good things to say, a lot of feedback, and you're selling them. They're yep. awesome. Yep. They're, they're, they're making sales and that's what it's all about. All right, guys, over and out, we'll catch up with you guys at the next booth. All right, we're here with Jake from Echo. Jake, tell me a little bit about this guy. This is awesome. This is new for 2019. Yes, this is uh, new for 2019. We launched it in uh, January of, of this of this year. Gotcha. Um, it works off of, uh, this one handles up to six acres. Wow. Um, the smaller one over there handles up to three acres. It works off of uh, electromagnetic field buried wire um, via a charging station. Five blades, three blades. Um, each one of them has three of these razor blades that, uh, that work. So what would be the ideal uh, person, like baseball fields? So the target markets for this are, are uh, sports fields, gotcha. uh, 
universities, corporate campuses, awesome. um, anything, you know, any, any type of commercial application, I along love with it. large estate owners. Sounds good, brother. These things are short, and this is actual real size. Yeah, this is the actual size. Yeah, so. this thing is gigantic. Like, it's hard to do a wingspan here, but this is three or four feet wide. Yeah, it's about 41 inches. 41 inches, awesome. Yeah. Well, well done, Echo. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed the What's New GIE 2019 video. If you did, like I said earlier, shoot it a big thumbs up. I super appreciate that. Hey, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. What was some of the newest stuff or something that was really new and cool to you that you guys saw at GIE 2019 if you made it down there in Louisville, Kentucky? For me personally, I love all the new stuff from Cujo and Isotunes and Equipment Defender. Yeah, they're Brian's 10 partners, but they're Brian's 10 partners for a reason. I love their products, right? Uh, I think some of the Spartan mowers, the, the uh, Kubota mowers, all these different guys, the Xmark Wham 96, okay, these were in other videos. Super exciting stuff. Actually, I'll leave two different videos here for our first two days from the GIE Expo 2019. If you guys wanna check them out, they're really fun, they were vlogs that we took, you know, kind of sharing our whole day and the adventure with you guys. So, all right guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video.